Hello. Hello, Pamela. Yes. Hey, this is Roy from the Bank of America. Yes. And we got your message today that you needed to talk to us about something again. Uh, yes. I received a package from Jason. Yeah, he's my coworker. Okay, that's who. <laughs> he told me to, uh, when I initially started the, the, um, inquiring about the refinancing he said don't talk to anybody but me <laughs> always and <been> I <laughs> oh he's ever since then I have not talked to him <laughs> yeah well he, he he asked me to take this call because he's like oh it's Pamela again she's so needy like she just calls all the time and won't leave me alone and she's like can you just take this I can't handle I, I can't deal with Pamela today are you serious? Yeah. So what? What is it this that time? Does, that doesn't make me feel good at all. Yeah. Well, you know. Because I called him. I called him this morning, once. Oh yeah, he was. Then, he was on the phone with you, and he kept looking at me, and he, he's like making these. No, I wasn't on. I haven't spoken with him this morning. Sounds oh, like somebody's not telling the truth. No, no, he he, he must have been talking to someone else because he was making all these hand gestures, you know, like uh, like strangling I himself. I called early this morning. I called a, a little after eight because uh-huh. I said I wanted to make sure I'm I'm trying to refinance. And if he's saying those things about me, I need to speak with a, his manager. Oh, the manager is in jail today. In jail? Yeah, Maybe. it's it's a oh, who knows? It seems like a weekly thing at this point but yeah the manager he, he'll probably be out by by evening i bet you know he's just gotta he's gotta talk to the bail bonds people and get bailed out again i i don't know this does i just you really just crushed me what you really just crushed oh me no don't with, say that with what he what yes with, if you said that's what he's saying that i'm needy I'm trying to get something taken care of, and I don't know how to do this but to call you all. Jason's just like that. He he, he uses a lot of drugs, so he just doesn't have patience for people. I mean, you should... And he's working? See, yeah, you should see him with his kids. Oh, my God, what a nightmare. But, I mean, okay. maybe, maybe I can answer a question for you. Okay, I received a notice of um, conditional approval and loan conditions. Mm-hmm. And I just need to know, um, explain to me what I need to do because I, um, I've i sent in some of the things that this sheet is saying that I need to have at closing yep. before closing documents can be, be prepared. So do you have access to what I'm looking at or do I need to um. say to you? Let me ask my daughter. Hold on, it's it's bring your daughter. Ask your who? My daughter. It's it's bring your daughter to work t- today. And um, okay. she's here. She's. And what's your name? She's a teenager. My name is Roy. So, she's she's looking over your paperwork. Just a minute. Okay, my daughter says your loan is so gay denied. And then she started texting her friend. So what? My daughter. She looked uh-huh. over your paperwork, and she's like, "Oh, Dad, this loan is so gay, denied." She took the red stamp. So gay, denied. Yeah, she she, she took the red stamp and and denied it, and then she started texting her friend. Okay, are you serious? Or are you? Yeah, she's just like that. It's hard to talk to her these days. I I don't know if she's serious. I don't know if she's serious or if she's just being indifferent to the. She doesn't even want to be here. You know, but it's bring your daughter to work day today, and she's just uh, like, I don't, this I don't loan know how is, to take any of this serious right now. This loan is gay, denied. That's what she says, and it's up to her. It's bring your daughter to work day. I, <laughs> you're saying it's up to your daughter. Yeah, just because just today. No, but I mean, you just called on a bad day, I guess. You, you called on the wrong day because. You know, it, it's bring your daughter to work day. And what does that have to do with anything? Well, because she's she, not alone. I know, but she made the decision. It's just like that article in the paper from last week where the 
the cop brought his daughter to work and and she shot she shot a guy and he was innocent. It's just the way it goes. What's your um your uh ID number? 15278398. And your last name? Gerbel. Can you spell that please? Sure, it's K E R B E I L E E. Are we being serious here? I am, yeah. Yes. You, spell your name again. Oh, man. Come on. I have a hangover. I can't do that again. You know? G- give me a fucking break, lady. Hello? But look, I'm just calling to tell you, we don't give out loans to desperate hobos. Who's a desperate hobo? That's kind of a rude thing to say to people. I have your paper right here. I'm going to rip it up if you're not polite to me. Well, why would you call somebody a desperate hobo? What the hell's with that? Uh, Sam, he was fired this morning. Uh, he, he came... I just talked to him a little while ago. I just talked to him not about an hour ago. He was fired. He just got fired. He, he came to work. Did you notice he was acting kind of weird? He was on meth, smoking meth and, and marijuana, like, at work. Like, while he was talking to you, did you hear him taking those breaths and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, he burnt, he, he got so angry, like, we had to call security on him and have them take him out. Um, but he burned all the paperwork, and he, he, like, he took his computer monitor and, like, threw it across the office. Um, and, um, you know, like, since all your information was in that monitor, it, it's just, it's gone now. Well, how I, I do not do porn. I never have done porn. No, I'm not saying you, you I, I, I'm do I'm an old porn. lady. I'm you not, say, I'm not saying you. what I'm saying? I'm not saying well, that you're why, in the porn. And so if I'm paying for it, someone else is using my social security number. And yeah. that's getting very scary. If you can tell us where to get that 10, the 103 form, then that's all we need from you. Why don't you try looking in your mom's asshole? Uh, yeah. <laughs> jackass. Is a jackass? It is. Who's this guy? It's- if you donate 15% of your loan amount to the local Baptist ministry, I'll, I'll push this right through. We won't even do a credit check. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Hello? That's it. I'm, I'm ripping up your application. I'm going to rip it into shreds. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to rip it up. That'll show, okay. that'll show you a thing or two. You, you, don't, you don't talk that way to, to the Bank of America, ma'am. Yeah, and you know what? The Greg Englund that I was talking to it doesn't have the same number that starts with a 5-3. That's because so, he's a hacker, you idiot. Well, first of all, if you were truly from Bank of America, you'd have a little bit more civility. Oh, no. So, don't call me again. You, you don't know how things work in the banking industry, ma'am. Hello, everybody. You're listening to the Snowplow Show, episode 418. This is Arby Bot from the Discord. I'm filling in for RBCP today. He's too busy buying groceries over at the Walmart today, so I'm just going to throw together a show, and it's going to be so much better than what you're used to hearing. So get ready for this. Today's show is sponsored by David J. Thank you, David J., for being a supporter over on patreon.com slash phone losers. Also, lots of thanks goes out to the new supporters like Brad U., Sunor, Austin McSomething, Omar, and my dad. Thank you, all you new people signing up on the Patreon. I have some exciting news today, and that would be that there is a brand new PLA Media Pack Torrent thing for 2017. It contains everything that the PLA has ever done, more or less. Like all the shows, all the snowplow shows, all the phone shows, the PLA radios. Not all of the hobo sods because you guys don't deserve hobo sods unless you're supporting over on the Patreon. But for the most part, it contains the past few decades of PLA material, and it's free to download over on phonelosers.com slash torrent. There will be a link to that in the show notes. Also in the news, you should be listening to the brand new show that RBCP is doing. It's called Brad's Cactus Shack, and the only place you can listen to it is on Patreon, but you don't have to be a Patreon supporter. You just go over to patreon.com slash phone losers and scroll through the most recent posts until you see the episodes. There are two episodes out so far, one from last week and one from this week, I think. And it's okay. It's not as good as anything I would have put together, but, you know, it's all right, I guess. 
It barely has any prank calls in it. It's basically just Brad being an old man and telling stories. There will be a link to that in the show notes along with the link to the torrent thing. And I guess that's it for the intro. Oh yeah, I should probably also say thanks to John McCabe. He's the one that made the Bank of America montage that you heard at the beginning of today's show. That was our intro song back in the good old days when it was okay to prank call bank customers and impersonate a bank. Thanks, John McCabe. Alright, so today's show, it's a live show that happened on Friday. Part of it's a live show, and then there's going to be some other stuff at the end after the live show part. The live show lasted for 90 minutes, and this stuff you're about to hear is only 32 minutes long. So that's how shitty the live show was on Friday. Be thankful that you didn't get to listen to it live, because, oh my god, Brad sucks. And if you've already heard that, just skip ahead 30 minutes, and there's going to be some stuff after that. Okay, Arby Bot, away! Let's see. Uh, I have a list here. I have a list from, uh, 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 what's his name? Incognito. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so yeah, Incognito, he sent me a list of uh, table tennis uh, association members. Uh, people that take ping pong way too seriously, I guess. Like, why do they call it table tennis? Like, like why not just ping pong? Like, what's the difference? Why is, this, why is there two different names? I don't understand. Does ping pong just sound too silly for him? So that they have to call it table tennis? Maybe that's just a regional thing. I don't know. I've always heard it called ping pong. Anyway, yeah, uh, he gave me a list of the members for a table tennis association club thing. These people are really into their table tennis. And I guess we're going to call a bunch of them and see if they pick up. Yeah, yeah. Roger wants me to tell them they're changing the name of the group to the ping pong association. See if that offends them for some reason. Maybe it's a racist term in, in like certain cultures. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, Incognito, he sent me a list of ideas here. Uh, he wants me to tell them to, uh, you know, accuse them of stealing paddles and balls. Uh, tell them it's not funny to put their balls in their tight pants and act like they have large testicles. Uh, the next meet requires them to dress up as their as their favorite Care Bear. I like that one. I think I'm going to start with that one. Or maybe ponies or something. Yeah, so yeah, let's just start calling these up, see what happens. Tell them we're going to change it to beer pong. If none of these work out, don't worry, because the XYZ show is right after me. And Your he, call has been forwarded to an automated... He never has ringing phones and voicemails and stuff like that. His shows are perfect. I hope this guy doesn't answer, because I can't pronounce his name. Rick. Damn it. Hey, uh, Prad Yuluma? Hello? Yes. Hey, it's uh, Big Dave from the the tennis club. You know the tennis, the table, uh, the table tennis club. Who is it? It it's uh, this is um, this is what's my name here? Let, I wrote it down. Richard. My name's Rick. Hey, it's Rick. I'm Rick. How how are you doing? From the table tennis club, you know. Uh, That's me, Rick. Hold on. What 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 are you doing? Hey. Hello. So can you hold just a second? What are you checking? What are you doing? What 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 are you doing? Come on. Seems very sketchy to me. Are you smoking drugs? And dark whatever says Rick's in the room. They're all whispering frantically at each other. Whoa. Hey, I heard noise in the background. What's that noise? What's going on? What are you up to? Come on, I only have a limited amount of time here before XYZ starts. You're pissing off a lot of people here. A lot of listeners. They'd rather hear phones ringing than just plain silence. You're ruining my show, Pratilumna. I'm just calling to let you know we're switching to beach balls. Sir? Hello? No blood doping. Hello? Hey, it's Rick. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. What happened? What happened? Hello? Hello? I hear you. Hello? So who, who is this again? I didn't recognize your voice. Yeah, it's Rick. Can't you Can't you hear me? 
Rick. Rick from where? R- from table tennis, the table tennis club. Durr. R- Rick, who? I mean, I, I can't recognize his voice. Yeah, I, it doesn't matter. Oh my God, I'm just trying. I'm calling. I'm calling all the members of the club to let them know about a change that we're going to start doing the, on uh, during the next uh, meetup. What kind of change are you talking about? Uh, we're going to be dressing up as Care Bears from now on. We're combining with the local furry club. Do you know what furries are? No. Okay. Well, uh, do you know what Care Bears are? I, I, I have no idea. I, I think you got a wrong number. I mean, you must have... You no, know. no. Your name's Praddy Umla. Yeah, you're a member of the table no. ten- tennis club. Yes, it is. I just, I'm bad at pronouncing names, okay? Don't make fun of my speech impediment. It's rude. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. I think you've got the wrong number here because you've been trying to call somebody and saying something that doesn't make any sense to me. Well, you're just not listening to me. You're, are you not a member of our table tennis club? Did I not reach PD? We all call you PD because we can't pronounce your name. I think yeah, you, you, you have the wrong number here. Sorry. Oh, bullshit. This is 2PD. I know it is. What were you doing at the beginning? Are you just smoking drugs? Hey, listen, I'm at work here. You can't just talk to me like that. I'm not sure what's, you, what's, your, what's your message. I mean, what do you want to say? Well, I was trying to tell you, but you're, you're just like denying that you're even the, the person, the table tennis club person. You're pretending like you're not that per- Like, what are you trying to hide? What are you doing there? That's so sketchy. I mean, what, I, I really don't get it. I mean, you know. I, I, are you PD anyway, or not? Are you PD? Yes or no? No. Yes, no, you are. No. Liar. Liar. Lies. Okay. Let me talk to your supervisor. Uh, right now. You, you, must, you must be up on something. You, Anyhow. All right. I don't have time to wish like this. Sorry about that. Why don't you hang up then? Hang up. See if I care. All right. Wow. What a huge waste of time. Holy crap. And they did have his name as PD. Like they have uh, the last name, first name, and then their short name. Like the uh, the club um, uh, leader, president, whatever. His name is Richard, but they call him Rick. That's his name. That's who I am today. I'm Rick. Rick's going to be our final boss. It's okay, though. I wasn't even prepared for that call. I totally fucked it all up right from the beginning. Hello, you've reached Emma Oswald. I am not available. See, like, whatever name she just said, that didn't sound like the name that's on here. I think this is, once again, um, incognito, just trying to fuck with my show. Trying to destroy the show from the inside out. That's what incognito does. That's his plan. Looks like I have about a hundred numbers here, though, so one of them's got to work out, right? There's a lot of people on here that have, have home phones, too, which is kind of weird. Hopefully this is a recent list. Hello. Hi, Josh. Hi. Hey, it's Rick from the Table Tennis Club. Okay. What, what you doing? I am working at the M. Cool. Hey, I'm supposed to call up everyone and let them know about a change we're going to be doing at the next meetup. Okay. Uh, do you have a furry suit by chance? Any kind of furry suit? <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't think the furry thing is going to work out as much as I want it to. I should probably kick him out of the club or something. Hey, jo- uh, okay, whatever. We can move on to the next one. You know, this is the kind of thing that furries have to deal with every day. People just hanging up on them. We're sorry. I mention furries and they just like laugh at them and hang up. As a furry, I know the pain. Hello. Hello, Steve. Yes, yeah, speaking. Hey, it's Rick from the Table Tennis Club. Yeah, how are you? Hey, pretty good. How are you doing today? I'm okay. 
Yeah, me too. That's good to hear. Thanks for asking. So, hey, oh, well, I'm calling to let you know about a small change we're going to be making uh, to the table tennis club. Yes. Uh, number one, we're going to call it the ping pong club. Because we decided, oh, okay. yeah, we decided uh, table tennis just sounds dumb. So, so where yeah. is it uh, located now? Ah, uh, yeah, same place as always, you know. Same place. You mean, you mean the marina? Do you yeah. own the marina? Yeah, totally the marina. Yep. The one kind of kind of what's the club kind of have? Yeah, that's the, the one. The, Why'd you ask if you already knew? Okay, same. So, uh, you mean the the one uh, what's the what club is was uh, have a. Uh, so we still move to Sunday. What what day it has there? Yeah, Sunday sounds great. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, nothing else is changing. We're just changing the name, and yes. and the uniforms. Uh, we're gonna uniform. Yeah, uh, we're gonna start wearing uh, animal costumes like furries. Like, do you know what the Care Bears? Okay. Are? Okay. Anyway, what what the day you have now? I don't know. Sometimes it keep changing because I do go to the Nina's Ping Pong Club too. Uh, yeah, yeah, but but okay, yeah, we'll get to that. But the first thing, the first important thing is that we're going um, to, yes. do you have an animal costume of some sort that you could wear? Because we're joining up with, Daniel. yeah, yeah, we're joining up with the furries. I do not know what's uh, animal. Uh, do you know what Car uh, Care Bears are? Or My Little Pony? Anyways, uh, <laughs> so you do sell there or no? Sell what? Yeah, yeah, we're still there. Yeah, nothing else uh, is. Those, uh, nothing. Huh? You do right? Yeah. Yep. What's the price? Mm -hmm. What's the price on that the shirt? Oh uh, no, we're not doing shirts anymore. We're gonna be wearing animal costumes. Animal costume. Yeah, we're gonna dress. I don't know what you're talking about. What, like what kind of costume? Like what's your costume? Have all kinds. You know, you have the. Uh, you a tiger or, or what, 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 what kind? Oh, you can be a tiger. You can wear any animal costume you want. We're all going to be our own animal. We're all going to wear animal okay. costumes while we play ping pong. Oh, okay. And so, uh, anyway, so yeah. what's, uh, what's, what's now? Because I do not know. It's, it's good. The best it used to have, they say you're going to move to the Monterey here. In the nearest where I live, is kind of still far. Yeah, because I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we are. It's still pretty close to you. It's not changing. Where, where, that's where a, are you now? That's Anyways, a rumor. I don't know. I don't know. The marina is kind of strange place. That place sometimes on and off and don't have, don't go. You know, I don't know. Yeah, you know, Going. fuck the marina. We don't, we don't want to go there. Where is it now? The marina is for pussies. Do you know where the Moose Lodge is? No, I'm not that well no there. No, okay. Because, you yeah, know, we thought that'd be cool to go with the animal theme if we just do it at the Moose Lodge. Do you uh, do you know the Ray? Yeah, yeah, it's free now. Totally free. Free for all. Free, I mean, free ping pong now? Yeah, yeah, free ping pong. But you can't call it table tennis anymore. Called call ping pong club. Yep. Ping pong, ping pong tennis. Yes, yes, and you have to wear a tiger costume... Or a bear okay, which day? Which day? Which day is uh, 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 applied now? Chewbacca, maybe Sundays. Sunday, only Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday only, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. No other day. No. Nope, just Sunday. Just Sundays. And you got uh, you got to come Sunday in your what time? No, no one is what time. You got to come in your animal costume, literally. No, not real, not really. Uh, okay. What time okay. do we used to do it? Huh? What time do we used to do it? I forget. I don't know. The like uh, I think the Sunday no normally is uh, uh, on the early afternoon started. Yeah, that sounds good. How about two o'clock? Okay, okay. By the way, I still don't know my schedule yet, but it's, I don't. I want to know what's what's the Pimon clubs now because it was close to me, oh. and uh, I would like to you know because <laughs> I go to Nina quite a bit. This is uh, just turning because into I don't know it's changing yet now because I don't want to lose my human clubs uh, on the side. Oh, you won't lose it. No, it's cool. Like I want <laughs> I'm close to me because I thought you know on the skyline for used to okay. try to move here but the girls say they don't don't oh, you know, I don't yeah. know why. What, hey, what hey do you still live on Drive? Yes. Okay, we're going to have it at your house. 
We're going to all come to your house. <laughs> No, because in Pimon Club, you have to be a space nice one. No, no, your your your, the, your house is nice. I just looked at it on Google Street View. It looks very nice. You need to clean up. No, your... it's, it couldn't go. It couldn't not big enough for sure. You know. Uh, no, because we're going to do it outside. Have... We're going to do, do it out in the street, right in front of your house. <laughs> are you are you kidding for me? Oh no! I hope so. My God, this kind of house. You I don't. Take. I don't it's kid. Like Club. I never kid. Nope. Okay. Uh, your house. Tokyo is not no more in charge now. Yeah, right? your house. Sunday at two p.m. Wear a animal costume. Wear costume. Uh, okay, because uh, Sunday is only two days. I don't know. I can. I can. Uh, I. I don't know. I have to. The <laughs> All right. Costume. Listen. Sure, okay. Yeah. Look. Look. I am declaring you the winner of this prank call. You are the winner. You win. I have to hang up. It's been six minutes okay. now. I'll talk to you later. It's, okay, it, bye. It turned into a whole thing. Oh. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, bye. All right, he hung up, so maybe he's not the winner. Maybe I'm the winner. I'm totally the winner. <laughs> All right, I give up on furry costumes for now. Because it's just not working out. I give up. Fuck it. Just fuck it. Like, the website doesn't have the, the times or anything. It says they meet at the Moose Lodge. But it also says copyright 2010 or 2011. Last updated 2014 is what it says. Actually, there's three different years. Hi, in this here. is Andy at Premier. I'm Hello, this is Dana. Hey, Dana. This is Rick from the table tennis club thing. Rick from the table tennis. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, the meetup, the club, the association. <laughs> no, I don't, but I might have signed up for something like that. Are you the ones that are the American Legion? Yeah, yeah, that's the one, the American Legion, not not the Moose Lodge. Okay. Um, uh-huh. What, you've never been here before? I thought you played table tennis with us. Um, I took my daughter there maybe six or seven years ago. Oh, wow, geez, so, okay. Yeah, no, I haven't. Have they been re- meeting regularly over y- there? Yeah, I'm just calling to let everyone know of a, small, a couple small changes we're going to be making. Uh-huh. Um, mainly that you're going to have to wear uh, animal outfits because we're joining up with a furry club. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's... You know what? You should probably take me off the list because I'm not over there. Yeah, but it's going to be a whole new thing now. It's going to be where, like animal costumes and it's lots of fun. Yeah, that and... should draw them in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> will. Yep, yep. We were thinking Care Bears. Care Bears could be nice because, uh, you know, like mm-hmm. that way we could have custom Care Bears. You know how they always have the thing on their stomach that, that defines no, their don't, personality? You know, I'm at work right now. What are you doing there? So what are you doing I at work? I think this has got to end. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of job do you do? Aw, you know what? I have <laughs> It has her work number here, so let's just give it a quick call. And then Thank I'm officially... Ah, blah, blah. Okay, never mind, never mind. Just forget this one. It's not picking up. All right, for, for real this time, no more furry stuff. I'm done with the furry stuff. And what the hell, she was there seven years ago. Fucking incognito, this is all his fault. Fucking with my show, as usual. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number. Give me an old list. Let's see what he says. He says, Mizukata. After searching Google and filtering results for XLS formats, I found a list of table team members. And let's see. Ah, the, the, the file name doesn't say anything about how old it is. Hello? Hi, Joan. Yes. Hey, it's uh, Rick from the Table Tennis Association Club meetup thing. Oh. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I'm getting a lot of on this call. A lot of what? Feedback. I say something, it repeats. Oh, that's weird. I don't know, maybe uh-huh. I should turn off my torrents. Do I have my torrents on? I don't think I do. Yeah, I turned them off. Weird. I don't know. It could uh-huh. just be the cell phone. Yeah. yeah I mean, the, no, 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 that did it, whatever it was. It's not on there now. Okay, yay, cool. Hey, <laughs> I, um, like, when's the last time you were at one of our meetups? I've never been to one because they're well, so far away. Well, why'd you sign up on the list then? Well, I was signed up on it because one of the girls from the Lions Club says that every now and then they have something down in my area. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I did. So I'm 
interested in it, but usually they're up in the Bay Area. Hmm. We could just hold it at your house. Like, we have your address here. Do you still live on Berta? I do. Cool. We could, like, because we've been looking for a new venue. Like, uh-huh. we could just set it up in your front yard every week. Oh, well, I don't really have a front yard. I'm out in the country. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll just do it in the road. Like, just in, you know, just alongside the road or whatever. Just under a tree. <laughs> my road is a straight, uh, straight up the road. The, the table would roll right down the bottom of my driveway. You're just full of excuses. No, it's the we'll have it mounted down there. And also, we're not even using balls anymore for the ping pong. Huh? We're, we're not going to be using balls. Like, balls are no longer permitted. It's actually a new rule we started up earlier this year because they assume the gender of the game. Uh, whoa. Yeah. That's weird. No, no, it's, it's, it's like the new millennia. We've got to get with the times. Can't be using balls and just assuming genders and stuff. It's 2017. That's very strange. Yep, but it's still a fun game. We have a lot of fun here. Well, I mean, there's no way for me to have it here at my house, so that would be kind of an impossibility. I don't know. So. I'm looking on Google on Google Street View right now, and your house looks perfect. Like, we could do inside. Do you have, a, like, a big basement? <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Could we just, like, push the couch against the wall and do it in the living room? Like, you, Nope, can't do that either. We don't normally have more than just, like, 20 or 30 people tops at each meetup. Huh. It's not that many. Like, you're acting like, you know, we're going to have, like, hundreds there. It's not a big deal. We could just do it in the road in front of your house, though. Like, just not the, interested at the, all. Just never mind. Okay, well, look, we're going to do it there anyway. And you can join us if you want. Because I already got you on recording agreeing to this. And it's not going to be on your property. It's just going to be right in front of your property on the road. We're going to put up um, those flashing barricade things to redirect traffic. You are our new venue, is what I'm saying. And she hung up. She's not interested. That was Jewish princess's idea. <laughs> you know, stop assuming the gender. No more balls. I'm glad she didn't ask uh, what we were going to use instead of balls, because I didn't know. Like, what, what do we use? Oh, yeah, polyhedral dice instead. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy that. Just in case they ask, I need to have a good answer. Badminton birdies, yeah, that could be it. Oh, it's too late, Tim. I already deleted the list. That sounds really funny, though. Entertainment. Hey, Steve. Yes. It's Rick from the uh, Table Tennis Club. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Good. That's good. I'm doing pretty good, too. Thanks for asking. How can um, I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to head out the door. Okay. Um, well, hey, don't don't get all impatient with me. I'm just letting you know. Um, it's like, are you planning on being at one of these table tennis meetups soon? Um. Well, yeah, I play all the time. I, I'm about. I'm, I have to go to Napomo to to uh, work. So where do you work? I, you know, I'm not even sure I know who you are. It's Rick. I, I run this shit. Rick Gilliam? Yeah, look, I, I need you to... You are l- not Rick Gilliam. Oh, yes. This is bullshit. Oh, your face is bullshit. I'm calling to let you know it's your turn to bring the beers and... Uh, okay. Well, it's it's a good thing I have a cell phone since he's running out the door. Because that way I can just call his cell phone. And finally, somebody like is part of the club and knows who Rick is, recognizes his voice... Maybe I should call up Rick <laughs> see what he sounds Hi, like. Hi, Steve and Steve. He's not going to pick up his cell. He's probably on the other line with Rick. Hello? Hello, Mark? Yeah. Hey, Mark. It's uh, Rick from the Table Tennis Club. Oh, hey. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. That's good. I don't really have time for small talk. I was just calling to let you know that... Um, like, have you you heard about the, uh, you know, the the animal that lays the ping pong egg? It's now an endangered bird. Um, and they're going to be, we're going to be switching to synthetic balls, basically. I'm just calling to let everyone know. I know some people don't approve of that. They want the real thing. Um, okay. 
So, yep, all synthetic balls. I think they're going to be made out of out of plastic now. Huh. I forget what the animal's called, but it's endangered. And that's where we've gotten them all before in the past. But, yep, those are they're just getting too expensive now because they're, you know, there's just not as many out there. Fair enough. Yep. Are you planning on making it to the next uh, ping pong meetup? Or, excuse me, table tennis? I didn't mean to be racist. Um, I, I haven't been there for a while. Like, uh, you're talking about, it, this is the club that's in yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, what? I just haven't been playing. I mean, I, I have, uh, in my classroom, I have a table, but I haven't been coming over to to the club over there. Oh, so you get, um, you get, you get, your, own, you get your own table, and you're just kind of too good for us. That's it. Not that. It's just a uh, full-time just, job and going to school is uh, it's plenty. You just don't <laughs> like the people here? Uh, not true. Are you sure? Because, I mean, it kind of sounds that way. No, I've enjoyed playing there. I've played in the, the Santa Cruz. Uh, oh, what's the one place there? They got some good stuff there, too. Now, see, you don't even know the name of the place. Is it because we switch to furry outfits when we play? Say again? Is it because we switch to furry outfits? Like, we're all, we've all been dressing up in animal outfits. Like, we've joined up with a furry club, kind of cross-promoting each other to get more members and stuff? No, I have no idea of any of this. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, do you do that at your 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 fancy table there in the classroom? Uh, no. Oh, well, you know what? I, I guess that pretty much tells us that our our thing is better than your thing. If you guys aren't even dressing up as animals. There you go. We've got like 12 Care Bears here. And like they're personalized Care Bears. They've all got like, you know, they're, they're making out up their own, their own symbols and stuff to put on their, on their tummies. You know? Well, everybody's got their thing. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like you just think you're too good for it then. No, I'm just sitting in traffic and uh, not really sure what the nature of this conversation is. Is it because we're going to be using synthetic ping pong balls now instead of the actual organic egg balls? What is it? No, I said or, or um, synthetic. You said what is it? We're switching it. to synthetic. What's the it thing you were talking about, though? What it thing? What are you talking about? He said, is it this? And I'm like, what is, what is it? No, I said, because we're switching to synthetic balls. We're, we're going to be using plastic balls, I think is what they're I doing. Know, but what's the it? What's the it you were talking about? What, what it? What are you talking about? Are you on drugs again? <sighs> I'm just saying, maybe you think you're too anyway. good for our club because we're not using actual, you know, actual organic balls anymore like we used to. Sounds like you're just an uppity person. Are you still there? Uh, sort of. I'm kind of busy driving right now, so your, your conversation is you not the priority right now. You can't, why don't you hang up then? If you're not even going to talk to me. Okay. Hello? Hello, Paul? Uh, no, no one here by that name. Oh, hey, you don't have to be a dick about it. I was just asking for Paul. That's all. No, there's no one here by that name. What's being a dick? Well, you don't have to yell at me. Like, quit yelling. Well, Jesus. No one's yelling at you. You're kind of yelling. Talking to you. you're, you're, you're talking in a very hostile manner. <laughs> Hello? Hi, is Conrad around? Oh, uh, no, he's not. Ah, uh, where's he at? Um, he's, he went to downtown. What's he doing there? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Are you, aren't you suspicious of what he's doing? Like, why wouldn't he tell you? <laughs> Seems weird. Who's calling? Uh, this is Rick from the, uh, the table tennis club. Oh, 
Yeah. Would you like to leave a message? No. Well, do you have a cell phone number? Uh, just, uh, do you have something to write it? Uh, I can type it. Okay. Because it's 2017. Uh, God. <laughs> uh, just a moment, please. Okay. Well, don't you have it memorized? Sorry? Don't you have it memorized? Um, no. <laughs> okay. I'll wait. Um, the number is, is eight. Oh, is it area code? Because you only gave me seven digits. Yes. Um, yeah. Well, if you want to give me your number and he will call you back. Uh, no. 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 Okay. I refuse. Okay. Well, thank you for his number. I'll try his number. Thank you. Okay. Bye, honey. Bye. She, like, she didn't understand the area code thing. She just <laughs> gave me the seven digits. So I'm, I'm assuming the area code. I know I shouldn't assume area codes. It's 2017. That's what I'm doing. Let's see what he's doing in downtown. Or actually, I'm not because he's not going to pick up. Your call has. Crap, we're almost out of numbers. Hello? Brandon? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Hey, it's uh, Rick from the Table Tennis Club. Oh, okay. How are you? Hey, pretty good. Hey, we just noticed kind of a problem here with the, the tennis balls. I mean, the, the, the ping pong balls. Okay. Yeah, um, like, we, we've been cracking them open, like fortune cookies, you know, and, and we, we see your notes in here. And you can't be doing that. Like, like besides affecting the, the, you know, just the weight of the ball and stuff, it's just not cool. Oh, come on. Come on. You're supposed to ask. What? What am I doing? Brandon, you fucked it up. One minute till XYZ. I just went to his page. He hasn't even gone on the air yet. Probably not even doing Hello. a show. We are not available now. Well, my phone just beeped. I think that means that uh, XYZ is starting things up. His show is has a very high probability of being much more successful than the past 90 minutes that you just heard. And... He's probably not going to have internet problems. Although I'm, I might DDoS him, DDoS him myself just because I'm going to be jealous. So if that happens, you know, it's probably me. There we go. This is my ending music, everyone. It's going to be the beginning of XYZ show. Thanks for listening. Sorry uh, things didn't work out, but I don't know. There, there was like one call that was almost funny, but not quite. Bye, everyone. Everyone go to uh, Mixler.com slash XYZQWA. Bye. I think after that big mess of a live show, I, I should at least try and do uh, something else before I end all this. So I'm going to try to uh, call some complainers from ComplaintsBoard.com. I've got one here. It's a guy complaining about some sort of uh, checking account service, I think. It's not really too clear here what's going on, but he says, I wasn't able to get my son's Christmas gifts last year because of false information I was told by a customer service rep. And this is a current complaint, and he's complaining about something from last year? I would like to speak to a president or a manager or somebody very high up to get this point very established and crossed to find out I would like to get back $766.12. I made this complaint last year, but nobody got back with me. Well, maybe you should make it to the actual company and not complaintsboard.com. Durr. Hello? Lionel? Who's this? Uh, well, I'm calling from a... You uh, said you were having some problems with our service about your son's yeah. Christmas gift. You forgot to say hello when I yeah. called you. It was weird. You just, like, sat there in silence. Yeah, I didn't know. Normally, I get prank calls. 
Prank calls from who? From different like agencies, like agencies and stuff like that. Why would agencies prank call you? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, agencies call and like try to give away free stuff and stuff like that. Oh, that's not a prank call. That's just a marketing call. You just don't know the difference. Okay, you're from now, right? Yep, yep, that's me. This is uh, Mr. Dabalina. Okay. Uh, are you a supervisor or a manager? Uh, I'm a supervisor of some people, but then I have a supervisor too, you know. I'm not at the top of the ladder quite yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, yep. my main issue and why I'm calling is about credit card 23. Okay. Yep, that one. Okay. Do you have how much was um, on that card the first time I used it? Um, d why, like, uh, I don't, how much do you think was on there? Like, are you poor or something? Like, you know, credit cards I'm are... what? Are you just poor? Like, is that why you need a credit card? Because, you know, credit cards are a bad idea. Okay, no, I'm not poor or nothing. Um, I'm just trying to get the situation fixed. Oh. Are you able to help me? Oh, yeah, definitely. What's the problem? Okay, the problem is I'm trying to wonder why my money wasn't sent back to that card. Um, how much did you, did you want? How much did I want? I had a total of seven sixty six eighty two on the card. Oh, that's a lot of money. Like, I don't know. We don't want to just give that away. But you, but you mean you don't want to just give that away? I don't understand. Well, didn't you get the merchandise that you ordered? What merchandise? I didn't order no merchandise with the car. Well, then why would we charge it if you didn't order anything? Are you just trying to scam my us? My card was... My card was... What do you mean in my trying to... Who am I talking to again? Well, th this is uh, Mr. Dabalina. Okay. From do you, have, you, you said you're a supervisor and the supervisor's over you? Well, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not like king shit around here or anything. I can get you my supervisor right. if that would help. Yes, please do. Okay, um, can you hold for just a minute? Sure. Like, um, El Diablo, he's been just dying for me to try this out. Let me let me put you on hold. Just one minute, please. Oh, fuck. Hello. Hey, Lionel, you hung up on me. I'm trying to get my supervisor for you. Fuck. <laughs> Man, that, that one was confusing. I didn't know what was going on with that. And sorry, El Diablo, I was, <laughs> I think the mere mention of your name made him hang up. I think it's all your fault. How ironic, right? Like, he wants me to try out this new hold music that I put together. Um, all of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. My pussy good, pussy sweet, pussy good enough to eat. Pussy good, pussy sweet, pussy... Yep, yep, I, I want to use that. I really want to use that on somebody. And I was getting ready to use it, and he just hangs up on me. What a jerk. I feel like at this point, it's just never going to happen. But maybe I can try it on this next guy. He seems to have a problem with the car rental service here. Hello? Hello, Mr. Sterling? Yeah. Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave from... I understand you're having some problems with our company here? Yes. How are you? Oh, pretty good. How are you doing today? Uh, not too bad. A little tired. Ah, uh, yeah. Same here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, so uh, did did anyone resolve that problem for you then? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Um, I'm glad you called. Um, yeah, so the issue was, I don't know if you actually got to read my complaint or not, but... Oh, well, it said here that you, was, you, you, were, you didn't have a, a credit card? Yeah. Like, but the thing is, like... Um, you know, everybody's saying, well, you need to read the terms and conditions. Well, mm -hmm. the terms and conditions, when I did it before, wasn't like that. I was able to run it with uh, a debit card before. I mean, it's like two years ago prior um, that I was able to go to the, the counter at the airport. Yeah, well, a, a, a debit card, that's like a, a credit card for poor people. Like, you know, some people, right. some people fall for that, but not us. We know the difference. We we well, can okay. we, we can tell we can tell when it's just a hobo trying to pass off a debit card as a credit card. Well, I, I guess I'm a poor person then because that's all I had at the time. Yeah. Yep. It's okay. And, Not, uh, nothing to be ashamed about. Well, the thing is, like, even even if that was the case, anyway, 
I couldn't read any terms and conditions because the lady took my credit card over the phone. So how am I supposed to stop what I'm doing while I'm with the phone on her, you know, on the phone with her, I should say, and read the terms and conditions over the phone? It's not like she read them to me. Like, yeah, well, you know, you just do a little bit of research, get on the Internet, figure it out yourself like most people do. Well, she took my credit card right then and there. Like, I was trying to make a reservation. Well, you shouldn't have been in such a a damn hurry, you know? Like, you should have have done a little bit of research. Then you wouldn't be in this predicament. I don't don't know why you're being rude to me. Oh, no, I'm not being rude. I'm not being rude. Well, you said, like, I was in a damn hurry. I mean, that sounds like it's kind of rude to me. Well, I mean, you're the one that, like, didn't do your research, and now you're complaining to us about it. There was no research to be done. There was, I've rented a car with a debit card before. So I don't see how that's an issue. Well, you know what they I'm say, done. fool me once, shame on, shame on us. Uh, fool me twice. Shit, I forget. I'm sorry. Something like that, though. You know, you know what they say. Fucking rude, man. How are, hey, t- I mean, yeah. Can, can you're you t- a manager talking about the, the saying S H I T and all that? Um, I can get my supervisor if, if that's what you need. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, would you mind holding for just a minute? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, just a minute, please. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. My pussy good, pussy sweet. Uh, this is Rick, the supervisor. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm having an issue with uh, the person that just called me. Um, like he's kind of being rude over the phone. Like, oh yeah, that's that's like that's Steve Dave saying a, saying a four letter word and which like, one saying like you shouldn't have been in such a damn hurry to to rent a car. You should have done your research and all this. I'm like, well, there was no research to be done because. When I was talking to the lady about renting a car, she said, well, we can take your credit card over the phone Mm -hmm. and just take care of it now. And I said, okay. And I did want to do some research, but she made it sound like that if I didn't do it right then and there, it was going to be uh, like $50 or $70 more. I can't remember what it was. This was like four or five months ago. Well, it seems like you probably shouldn't let people push you around like that. Well, these are people that are working for you, right? Yeah, yeah, but, you know, don't be such a bitch. Don't, don't let yourself get pushed around. Just, you know, like, be, be a man and say, hey, listen here, I'm going to hang up, do a little bit of research, and then I'll call you right back. Okay, I was in the middle of my work day on a five-minute phone call because I have other stops to do. That's always yeah, excuses with people days. like you. <laughs> people like me. What, what is it with your company? You guys are just a bunch of rude people that talk to people like this. Well, hey, hey, don't be rude. Calling us rude I'm like not, that. Come I'm on. Not one being rude. You, you just said, don't be a bitch, be a little man. And the, the other guy was saying, the guy was saying, like, uh, oh, uh, you shouldn't be in such a damn hurry. Listen, can you tell that, that lady in the background yeah. to just please shut the fuck up? Because tell her you're on the phone and she's being rude. Real quick. Wow. Could, could you do that? And just yeah. tell her to... <laughs> yeah. Do you realize you're in charge and you're talking to this man like this? Hey, hey ma'am, ma'am, I noticed you haven't shut the fuck up yet. Could you please just, you know, shut the fuck up? Um, we'll call him this... What's that? What's that person? Yeah. Yeah. What? You got on his phone. He didn't call you and you're talking to him like this. That is not acceptable. Okay, but um, the fact remains that you you still haven't shut the fuck up, ma'am. Like, this isn't your phone call. This is your husband's phone call. So you, you be quiet. You go to the other room. Can you shut the heck up? No, I said shut the fuck up. Are you know what he's talking about? What? All right. Look, can, can you hold on for just a minute, please? Yeah. Just a minute. Pussy good, pussy sweet, pussy 
pussy good enough to eat. Pussy good, pussy sweet. Pussy good enough to eat. My pussy good, pussy sweet. Pussy okay, I'm sorry. I'm back. Um. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm back, sir. I'm sorry. I had to, uh, you know, spit out my chew. That's all. Okay. Is it on the recording that says that? What? I'm sorry. What was that? Nothing. So how how we can um, yeah, she... resolve this? Is there any resolving the issue? Or... Uh, I would just say in, in in the future, don't let people push you around like that. Just uh, you know, just uh, be a man. Say, hey, listen here, I need to do a little bit of research on your company and make sure you're not trying to defraud me. And uh, then you won't have these problems. So, I don't understand, like, uh, I'm having a real hard time. Ba basically, just quit being such a dummy, okay? Mm -hmm. you, big, you big dummy. So, are you not affiliated with... Rent a car at all or what? No, no. I, I just I just saw your uh, complaint there on complaintsboard.com. I thought it'd be funny to call you up because you put your phone number on a public board. So you're I, not with? No, no. I'm, I'm with the local uh, radio station here in Ohio, and you've just been butt slammed. We're going to put this call on the radio. I told you. Jaybirds, creepers. Yep, <laughs> yep. Yep, I was just kidding with you. Just joshing. Oh my Ex God. Except the part about where that lady in the background needs to shut the fuck up. She's really getting on my nerves. That part was real. Well, uh, oh, God. <laughs> you guys got upset. Where, where, where are, you, uh, are, are, you, are you not upset now? Like, uh, Do you feel better? <laughs> Still a little bit, I can't lie. That's good. I'm, I'm glad I didn't make you hate uh, or anything. Oh, geez. Tee hey, so I just need to get your verbal permission to air this tomorrow morning so we can make fun of you a lot on the morning show. Oh. No, I can't do that. Oh, listen, don't listen to your wife. Uh, you know, make your own decisions for once in your life. Just, just it, It's fine. <laughs> it's no big deal. No, I, can't. I can't. You know, she, she just needs to... Oh, you can't make your own decisions? No, I'm just not going to make that decision. Okay, well, I'll make it for you. We'll just go ahead and play it. Tomorrow morning, be sure you're listening to 100.3 The Gerbil. And only you. Don't let that wife of your... Okay, there he goes. That guy did not have a lot of fight in him. At least we got to use the, the hold music, and she actually, that lady that wouldn't shut the fuck up, she commented on it. So I guess mission accomplished, but I don't know. I still want to try a few more. Hello? Hello, Cynthia? Hello. Why are you calling me on a Why are you calling me on a Sunday? Well, I'm calling from. Uh, you had a complaint about the Dr. Seuss book club, and I'm I'm just oh just yeah trying, yeah trying yeah, to res but, resolve yeah. your issue. That's all. I, I don't. I'm sorry. Should I hang up and call back some other time? If it's no, a, you need to talk to me now because I owe me some money. Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah. What What's the problem? Okay, when I did my when I did the Dr. Seuss thing, I was doing a survey to get um, to get a debit card mm -hmm. for uh, Walmart, and they told me the order to just pay a dollar. I mean, to pay the uh, the other dollar, and they took four dollars and ninety nine cents twice. Oh, they took it twice off my debit. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, it's, got, only, it's like the handling charges. It's only supposed to be one. It's only supposed to be one time. Well, why did you choose the Doctor Seuss book? Um, is that because that's the highest level you can it's read? My at? Grand, it's, no, it's for my grandson. Oh, I got a grandson. Oh, it's I two see. years old. Oh, okay, all right. And he's learning. I see. So, okay. You know, and I wanted to get him some books so he can learn. Yeah. Okay. I just figured you were stupid or something. Huh. So, um, yeah, I can go ahead and remove... You figured I was stupid or something. What well, you say? Well, no, I'm just saying, since you were, order, were ordering, you know, Dr. Seuss books instead of, you know, something more age-appropriate for yourself. But, no, now I understand... No, they for myself, they for my grandson, and you just said you think I thought I was stupid or something. No, no, now I understand. I, I just, I, I didn't understand no, it. For... I what you just said, though. I, what's, it, what's up with my money? You just said, I don't even want the books if you don't say that. You don't want the Dr. Seuss book anymore? That was very that was that was very rude for you to say that to me. Oh no, I w I wasn't trying to be rude. I just that's just what I thought. It's it's not a big deal. No, that was a bad thing to say. 
Well, I, I, I just, I, I'm sorry it was a misunderstanding. It's like the misunderstanding where you yelled at me when I first called in. It's just a misunderstanding. No, but no, because it's a Sunday, and I, didn't, I don't usually get business calls on a Sunday, but, you know, when it comes to my money, I accept the call when it comes to my money. Well, who do you think was calling? You don't have to just, like, pick up your phone and yell at people. I don't know, Jesus because Christ. Cause it's, no, it's an 800 number. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, was, so it, was, it, was, it was wrong when you guys was fought. I'm just calling That's to why re- resolve. I'm a lawsuit against it. I'm just, oh, you're, you're filing a lawsuit against this now? Holy crap. No, I said I, I said I was going to do a lawsuit if I don't get my money back. Oh, come on. You're not going to file a lawsuit over four ninety nine. Yes, I, I mean, the Better Business Bureau. Well, that's not a lawsuit. That's what's just, going on? Why, why are you calling me? Well, are you going to give me my money back or what? Well, I was trying to, but you're just yelling at me and being kind of a dick. I'm not because you're not even talking to me right. I, I am trying to. So you calling me like you calling me like I'm dumb and stupid. That was very rude to say. Okay, well, just get over it. Okay, that was that's in the past. Let's just forget about that. I'm I'm trying to resolve your issue. You big dummy. And see, you calling me names now. No, I'm just saying I'm trying to resolve your issue. No, so you just called me a motherfucking dummy. No, I did not okay. say MF. Okay, you I, just called me. You call me a big dummy. Okay, uh, but you know what? I'll I'll let's talk to somebody look, else. Do you want me to get my supervisor? Yeah, I will need your supervisor. Okay, please. can you hold on for just a minute then? Mm-hmm. Okay, just a minute, please. All of our yeah. representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. First you call me dumb. First you said um, I thought this was because you slow, because you, you dumb. I said, that's the book for my grandbaby. Then you call me a big dummy. But they just took my money. Hello. Hello, this is uh, Rick, the supervisor. Can I help you? Yes, um, I was, this man just called me from this place to buy my money. Yep. And whoever he was, he was very, very, very disrespectful and very rude. Oh, um. Now, if he's going to talk to me professional about my money, that's supposed to be professional. And he called me a dummy, called me a big dummy, and, then, and he asked me a question like, why did I order the books? I ordered the books for my grandson. He's two years old. He said, oh, I thought you ordered them because you're dumb. That was dumb not to say to nobody is I'm supposed to be a customer. Oh, I totally agree. I'm so sorry, ma'am. So, uh, did you want me to try and resolve this issue then? Yeah. I- I'm gonna like that guy that you're talking to before. That was Steve Dave. Like, uh, I'm like when we get off the phone, or if you want to hold on a second, I can go over there and kick him in the nuts. I don't, I don't even care about all that. This this handle this problem. Well, it sounds like you you care about it and you're just freaking out about it. You know, like like let, let me just go over there real quick and I'll just kick him in the nuts. Because he but deserves it. Go on over there and kick him in the nuts. Because y'all playing with me on this phone. No, I'm not playing, ma'am. I, I'm going to go over there. Like he, he's, I, I, he's done okay, this. Okay, I think you're playing with me on this phone. No, he's done this to other customers before, and I'm just going to run. Oh, there she goes. She hung up. She didn't seem to have a problem with the hold music, though. She didn't care about that. She just didn't like being called a dummy. Here, let's call her right back. It was kind of rude of her to hang up on me. We weren't, we weren't even finished resolving her issue. Please leave your message for oh, two things. come on. Whatever. I'm about to run out of places to call here. I keep doing different phrases. You know, phrases where they would put their phone number in there, like, call me at, reach me at, stuff like that. I don't know what else to put. It's kind of slim pickings these days. Apparently, people are getting prank calls from this thing all the time because... Please leave your message for... First guy I talked to. He's like, I keep getting prank calls. Holy shit, though. That lady just bit my head off when we when I first got on the phone with her. Like, why are you calling me on a Sunday? And then she says I'm rude. Hello. Hello. Uh, is, is this Marty? Yeah. Hey, Marty. Uh, this is uh, Steve Day from CAGCO. We understand you had a complaint about our services here. I, I'm not understand what you're saying here. Uh, CAG Co. You you said you had a complaint about us, like um, the, you've been making withdrawals out of your personal account. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm sorry. I it's got okay. that all straightened out. It's that was right. a mistake on my part. Oh, you big dummy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I am a big dummy. You sure I'm are. Very sorry. Omg. I'm very sorry, sir. Okay. No, no, don't be sorry. It's fine. Well, you got my apologies. Oh, well, thank you. That's so nice of you. I love I love you. Hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah, yep. That's what they say. Okay. All right. Well, okay, well you have, have a good day. Uh, have a good Sunday. I love you. 
Okay, hey, swing back to you, buddy. <laughs> All right, bye, bye, honey, you. sweetie baby, bye. sweet tits. Big dummy. <laughs> okay, bye, <bye-bye>. bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> wow, that was a complete contrast to that last lady that I called a big dummy. And I don't know what this company is. It must be some sort of online checking account or something. Luckily, he didn't put his account number in it. Like, I've seen that so many times today, like on these ones that I've called and they didn't pick up. They put everything in there. They put account numbers, tracking numbers. One guy put his VIN number in there from his car. It's insane. Complaints board just doesn't care about it, I guess. They just let it stay in there. I guess that's going to be it for today's round of complaint board calls because I can't get anyone else to answer. It's a little disappointing that we didn't get any really, truly good reactions to that hold music. But that hold music, it's right here in my soundboard, El Diablo. I'm going to use it someday. You know, it's right here. I can push it anytime I want, anytime I need to put a supervisor on the phone. So someday it's going to pay off. I'll keep trying. But until that day happens, just remember that my pussy good, pussy sweet, pussy good enough to eat, Pussy good, pussy sweet, pussy good enough to eat. She is a lyrical genius, this lady person. Hey, Brad. Hello. Uh, this is Greg. Anyhow, um, yep. just wanted to see if uh, I haven't listened to episode 415 yet or the latest one for today. Um, hoping that it does have that thing that you promised us. Get uh, to work. The on hold, uh, you know, music and see what the reactions are. See? That'd be freaking see? so awesome. Look at this, you guys. If not, oh boy. He really wants me to use you that need music. To come up with something. <laughs> I hope uh, you're happy. You know, I tried today. I think we'll, uh, tried I'll my best. Listing maybe some ways you could do that or something. Uh, hell, I might even go around this town, get some names of people you can call. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Get to work. You know, from around here. And come on. Where I'm at. Quit being lazy. And to maybe build you a list using that method. Um, anyhow, yeah. Yeah, I hope 415's got it. Otherwise, boy, gosh, you know, you're tempting us with that uh, on uh, that, that hold waiting music. And, yeah. and you know what? I, as much as you're trying to make me feel bad, I, I don't feel bad. That's just going to be awful. No. I hope that it's in 415. If it's I didn't not, say I was going to do it immediately. I just said it's on my soundboard now. It's going to happen oh boy, eventually. You've got to come up some way to... Even, uh, even if you got to say, hey, would you like to talk to my manager? And then, okay, please wait. Just you know, like I did today. Just, you know, having them initiate it. You okay, can. thanks, Greg. Thanks for the voicemail. Don't worry. I'm not done trying yet. I'm going to keep at it. Bad. What the fuck? That was so weird. It just, like, made two tones at me. Oh, my God. Uh, hi, Brad. Favorite voice in 609. I'm washing the dishes right now. Holy did shit. you want to know who washes their dishes Why, like, they're well, At least you're not vacuuming or jackhammering or anything like that. When Try, you call but then in. I can't hear your small, supple voice. And now my dog's upset. She's so upset. She kick it. Buttercup. Kick it. So out. Love you, Brad. I'm going to finish washing my dishes. All right. Thanks, favorite boy from 609. Hey, Brad, this is Blue from Mumbai. Hello. And for show 414 was awesome. Thank you. Hilarious. And I'm telling you, uh, the Terry guy who would uh, lend his uh, front lawn for the mayor, I think he, this guy's gold. Uh, this guy's another legend, uh, almost like... Uh, Too bad I didn't um, save his info. Mildred Monday. So don't lose him, man. Don't lose him. Love your show. Too late. And uh, by the way, what is it that you're going to do on show 420? Nothing. Uh, you got to do something sinister. Love your shows. Bye. I think a good sinister thing to do might be to just uh, skip it. Just not have a 420. Just drive everyone nuts looking for 420 like I did with 404. You know, I think I mentioned in episode 404 that I might do that. I might just not do 420. Hey Brad, it's uh, T-Bone from the Patreons. I uh, just uh, was listening to your uh, call to some of uh, Rahm Emanuel's constituents. He's pronounced his name wrong. And uh, more than that, he's probably one of the most unpopular mayors in the country. So if you don't follow politics, you work for the Obama administration. Oh, what are we talking about? Well-sized. That's my kid making noises, yeah. by the way. So if you want to tell him to shut the fuck up, that's yeah. okay, if too. If you could, that'd be so great. So if you have grumpy people answering your calls, that's uh, probably why he's uh, not a particularly uh, popular mayor. Love you. Bye bye. Are you talking about like <laughs> Jesus? Are, are you talking about the the like the mayor pranks I was doing? Like, did you figure out which area I was calling? I guess because I don't know anything about that guy. Oh yeah, it's probably Chicago. That's right. 
I think I mentioned his name on that show. Hey, Brad, it's Carnifex. The calls from the mayor's office were amazing. You might be able to make a Weird Al style poker song from people singing their little songs. Also, the space noises were fucking amazing. Uh, have you got anything planned for Christmas? Like people sent pictures of themselves and snowplow merch or something like that. Something Christmassy. Let us know. Love the show. Keep it up. See you, buddy. Well, I don't want to give it away, you know, spoilers and stuff. But no, I don't really have any plans for Christmas. I usually forget to do holiday-themed stuff. I'm more like, oh, shit, yeah, yesterday was Halloween. I forgot to do anything. Sorry, everyone. Maybe next year. But yeah, maybe we'll figure out something good for Christmas. Maybe. Hey, Brad, it's Kevin from Canada calling. Hey. Uh, just wanted to say I love the show. I can't get enough of it. But my problem is my wife absolutely hates it. She told me she can't stand Kill her. her voice. And... I don't know what to do. Kill her. Is there any way that I can get her kill, kill, to kill. your show? Thanks. My suggestion would be to kill your wife. Just get rid of her. She's she's a problem. Hey, Roy, Brad. Just wanted to call and say, as of today, it's Thanksgiving right now as I leave this. I have officially been your fan for nine years. Whoa. I believe in 2008, that's when you first went to the Black Friday and ruined Everybody was lives and made the lady cry who wanted that stupid show. And what? Who did I make Loved cry it. on Thanksgiving? So nine years, you're just another year of me listening. You'd be obnoxious, man. You're the shit. Yay, thanks. You're king at this prank phone call shit. No one's on your level. That's great. Uh, thank but you. it's a useless skill and you should go fuck yourself. Bye. Uh, thank you. And I don't remember making anyone cry. Are you talking about the, the drug lady? The one that screamed at me because she kept getting transferred to the wrong department. Oh man, you guys, last night I was at Walmart and they kept paging over the intercom. Like, one of the employees sounded so desperate. They're, they're like, Electronics, please pick up line one. Please pick up line one. And it took everything in me not to walk over to a phone and pick up line one. I really should do some more of those calls during the holidays. Just, you know, not at my local Walmart here. That's probably a terrible idea. Brad Carter. It's not Brad. Oh, Happy shit. Thanksgiving. Hey, not Brad. You and yours. I'm counting down the hours until Thanksgiving begins. Oh. Only a few more hours. Brad. You must have been disappointed. All right. Goodbye now. Bye, not Brad. Shit, fuck. I'm holding my phone upside down. Oh, you idiot. Yeah, by the way, I'm a little bit behind on voicemails, so we're probably going to hear some references to Thanksgiving a lot in here and the calls from the mayor. And yeah, I want to do some more mayor calls. Hello. Those were Roy fun. Bell. Hey. This is a uh, little man from Planet Valeria. I'm just making a collect call. I'm um, sending my microwave beams from about two galaxies away. And I think oh, our technology is up to date here. Not how collect uh, calls work. Sending a Idiot. messenger away. Oh, by the way, I saw Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton up here the other day when I was uh, just strolling through the stars. Yeah. Systems and, Did he uh, fly over there real quick? He told me to tell you, um, if you see his socket wrench, please return it to NASA. Um, that would be very much appreciated. I don't have it. Don't don't blame and, me. Uh, hello, man. Away. All right. Bye. Why not just uh, tell? Why don't you like call people international, dude, in different countries? Maybe I don't want to. Like, I mean, you guys get enough fucking donations to fucking pay for international calling. Oh, uh, no, that's like, what the fuck too expensive. Problem? You call in fucking the United it. States at fucking, you know, fucking two in the morning, like five in the... Oh, come on. It was it's fun. Awesome. We got to wake him up for Black Friday. It was great. And that voicemail probably would have made more sense if I played the three previous voicemails that came right before it. But nope, I just played the one on the end because it was the shortest. Okay, I got an idea. So, for Christmas, you do a stream, call it... Christmas, you know, like a cactus, you know. <laughs> also, I'm drinking Coke. Hot. You're drinking Coke? Yeah, be careful with that Coke. Hey, Brad, um, it's the user fan with a PH. Hey, user uh, fan. Right now, it is Friday, November 24th, the, the day after Thanksgiving. I, I know you're not going to hear this, but 
um, you know, by, by Missy and Ann. Um, they're doing the whole Thanksgiving thing today, and um, Sunshine's she's doing a great job. I to- still need to catch up on that whole thing on on Thanksgiving. I missed like the entire morning. I still haven't heard uh, X Y Z's slot because I was sleeping. Filling in for you still. Um, she's doing her show, or she did her show earlier this morning from um, yeah, yeah. from uh, till like seven. Being a real jerk time, here, you but, know. Um, she's she's a sweetheart. Bringing this whole thing up. Too sweet. Um, she I'm, just, I'm gonna hang up on this voicemail. Roy recipients than um, than anything else. Um, Fuck you, you. I know fan. you're never gonna hear this. Um, probably won't even. That's re- right. I'm just gonna quit playing it right now. Take that, Brad. Brad. It's not Murray. Okay. Maury. No, I think Maury. it's Murray. I think it's Murray. Maury. I think not you're wrong. Murray. Maury. Pretty sure you're wrong. Please. Driving me crazy. Isn't he Murray on uh, the Goldbergs? Yeah, I think he's Murray. I think you're wrong. It's Murray. Murray Goldberg. Brad, Brad. Brad, Brad. Hey. Don't worry, Brad. I'm not holding the phone upside down. And, and I'm not a hobo. I can tell. Why did you call me that? You upset me. By how me. loud it is. But... Anyway, I was just wanting the phone up. I was going to ask you, would it be okay if I phoned in to like, a live show and had a shot at doing a prank? Of course. With you? Yep. Or, is that, or is that a bad idea? Don't worry, I won't say things like bomb or terrorist or... I'm not going to say things like I'm going to kill you or anything bad like that. Or, it sounds like a good okay. idea to have you on the yeah, show. Me, well, I could do like a, a quick... But I Please call in really someday. Prank because my my phone my phone thing might run out soon. Or run out really, really uh, quick. Bye. All right. Bye. Can't wait for you to call in during a live show. Hey, Brad. Hey. Um... So I've been listening to the voicemailers, and um, you know some of them are like changing their names to like copy each other. I know. Like you What's have Sea Falcon, and like I think there's like a P Falcon, a Z Falcon, or whoever. And then you have Mr. Tomato Head and Mr. Potato Head. I know. So I thought I'd copy you, and so I'm gonna call myself Crad Barter from now on. Okay. So um, great idea. Yeah, I'll be calling in probably more often as Crad Barter, and uh, you can thank me. Um, but, uh, Thanks. Yeah, let me know what you think. It sounds great to me. I'm going to save you in the address book as Crad Barter. Hey, Brad. It's Stupid Sexy Flanders. I'm calling to let you know that the call at 53 minutes on episode uh, 413. That was the funniest fucking thing I've heard in a long time, man. That's uh, when great. The, uh, the insurance wish, lady wish there said you got tongue tied and you came back with that wobbly voice thing. I fucking almost oh, pissed that myself thing. laughing. So, yep. uh, Keep up the good work, buddy, there. Cactus, cactus, you fuck ass. I'll do my best. Hi, it's Carl Lundy calling. I was reading one of your posts, and uh, it said that you didn't know why exchange uh, uh, calling for every uh, number in a black uh, was uh, illegal. That actually comes from a CRTC ruling, or uh, I guess... I have no idea what this guy's talking about. Yeah, yeah, whatever. This is the whole beginning. America uh, prevents uh, companies from using uh, auto exchange, uh, auto sequential dialers. Because then, uh, you know, those sales calls you get, hey, would you like to get uh, your funeral uh, plans done now? Or would you like to get uh, the newspaper? Would that uh, become like daily, like ads on, in between commercials on TV? Yeah, it'd be a bummer. Uh, so there are heavy fines in the tens of thousands of dollars for corporations or companies that abuse that. And uh, the the also could be jail time if you're not a corporation that can pay that kind of fine. Just let you know. Yeah, so whoever did that Facebook thing where you did the sequential uh, Facebooking number thingy, you're probably going to get me in trouble because they're going to think that I'm prank calling people in sequence. Yeah, okay, uh, if you want to uh, send me a, a, anything at cmanhornby at gmail.com. What? You should, uh, work against the uh, Bell Telephone in uh, different uh, slow uh, down. cable and stuff. And, uh, Stop drinking so much Pepsi before so, your anyway, voicemails. Bye-bye. I think I'm supposed to email him about something. I don't know what. Hey, Brad, it's me. Dex here. Um, hey, Dex. I have this pretty good idea. So, um, um, I was thinking, um, all right. So you do this little event where you actually eat a cactus and then you actually die. Thinking it'll be good. Okay. Uh, you'll get a lot of PLA donations. Blah blah blah. You get a lot idea. of Patreons. Uh, yep. More hobo sods. All right. More hobo sods. Thanks for the voicemail. Uh, sounds pretty good. Bye. Uh, Good job having all that loud shit in the background while you call in. Hey, Brad, it's Crimson. I hey. just have a question. If you had to name one call that you think is the best you've ever done, oh, what would man. it be? What's the best call I don't know. you've ever made? They're all so great. 
Didn't we do a poll about this on the PLA group recently? Seems like we did. I don't know, maybe that one where I'm the AT&T operator and the guy just immediately goes off on me, starts screaming at me because he thinks his sister is calling him collect. Maybe it's that one. I don't know. I can't think of any others right now. That's one I definitely never get tired of listening to because that guy is just hilarious. Hey, Brad. You know, the pumpkin carving contest, uh, you know, I answered and he said, leave your address and, you know, and you, I'd send you some, some stuff, you know, yep. and you never did. So, oh, yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, shut your kids up. Yeah, I haven't sent out stickers for those pumpkins yet, but I have them all sitting right here in a directory. It's going to happen soon, I promise. I definitely will never forget about this. Like, I have a directory that I put all the emails in when people ask for a sticker or when, you know, I'm supposed to send them a sticker and somebody sends me their address. And right now there's about 20 emails saved up in there. I need to just sit down and and send out stickers to everyone. So, sorry, it's taken me so long, but it'll definitely happen, I promise. Everyone that sent a pumpkin in, as long as you gave me your address, I'm going to be sending you a sticker soon. For realsies, it'll happen. Hey, Brad. Great big Brad. Big old voluptuous, thick, juicy, sexy Brad. That's me. Just, uh, just calling in, buddy. You know, uh... Yep. Yeah, uh, calling I, in I, with your three-minute-long voicemail. I want to apologize for my last voicemail. I was kind of vulgar. I was a little rude. I said some said some things that probably offended a couple people. Probably. I know that children listen to the show, and that your children and all, all these children is it's a family show. You know. That's right. You got to be appropriate. Yeah. And I just, you know, I wanna, I wanna, you know. All wanna, right. Thanks for the apology. Again, I don't I think I can listen to the show. entire three minutes of uh, apologizing or whatever this is all about. And your show at the same time, and I saw that you posted. So like, thanks shows. for the voicemail. Three minute long voicemails are not allowed here. I've got enough to deal with around here. Hello, Brad Carter. This is Boy Hamster calling from the Faux Losers of America corporate office here in Nebraska. Hello. It appears none of your prank call recordings have been coming in on this end. So in order to fix this, it appears you will need to delete your System 32. Okay. So once you've done that, please give me a call back at the okay. same number. To make Write sure that it down. Works. Only call back after you finish, though. Thank you. No problem. Sorry about the mistake. Please don't write me up or stop signing my paychecks or anything. Hey, Brad. A first-time listener, a long-time caller here. I had a few suggestions. Can you do more true ring calls and more hang-up-the-phone calls? Thanks so much, buddy. Bye. Thank you for your suggestions and your voicemail. I will take them under consideration. Hey, Brad. It's Hanson. So, uh, you know, I know you have a few wishes in life. One of them is to be certified as a true hacker, although you, you know, fail at hacking. Yep. And, uh, you know, the best thing you can do is play red box tones. You think that's hacking. But it doesn't count Pretty Brad, much. Okay? All right. But, uh, you know, but you know what? I have to give you credit. You got raided by the FBI and charged on the federal crime of basically hacking. So you did it, Brad. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. More you like for making prank now. calls. Yep, yep. Congratulations, whatever. Brad. You did it. All right. So you got that off your checklist. But, um... The other thing I was thinking, that was you know, on my checklist. You just haven't Definitely. really quite made it into like being a celebrity, you know, like a media, a media icon yet. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that on the voicemail right now for you, Brad. Are you ready? Crap. Um, I'm going to accuse you of sexual misconduct. Uh, so uh, no. yep, I'm, I'm, I'll be your accuser, Brad. Um, I, you I'm know, right up there next to Captain Crunch all the now. Things you've said on uh, you know the prank calls. Uh, I'm counting that as sexual misconduct. So. Hey, you can count yourself among the ranks of, like, Matt Lauer and all his politicians, you know, you know Charlie Rose. I mean, you're yep. basically Charlie the, Rose, all Matt Lauer. All people I know. All right, congratulations. All right, more golf claps. More golf claps. Thank you, Brad. Bye. Bye, Crimson. Thank you for helping out with that. I appreciate it. Hey, Brad. Uh, I had a, actually a request for Brad's Cactus Shack on something uh, to play, um, if you're taking a request for that anyway. Um, there was a... A time, I, it was like about a full year ago, on the Snowplow Show website, you were playing a concept from like a, a Bob Ross, but from like a, a phone perspective, where there was this guy that was so passionate about phones, and I think he was talking about red boxing techniques, or I, I don't even know what it was. I don't know so what you're he talking had a, about. This soothing voice, and he was describing different tones that you could get and he was always like oh that's oh nice. yeah that's evan doorbell and that's not that has nothing to do with me he's just like an awesome guy um 
where was I playing that? Was I playing that on a show or something? No, Evan Doorbells, he, he's amazing. You should get on YouTube, do a search for Evan Doorbell and just play whatever you find because he, he's a really interesting person. He does a lot of really neat things with phones. Sound and I mean, he was extremely passionate about phones and whatever he was yeah, doing. Yeah, he is. Is that something you could throw on the, the Cactus Shack? No. I'd, I'd appreciate it if you could. I, I've, I missed out on the half of it. I really wanted to hear like the full clip. All right, thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Yeah, just uh, get on YouTube and search for him. There's it's just the like hours and hours of his stuff. Like he here's a small clip of it right now. I just pulled it up on YouTube. Only type of ring that's used on ESS. Eventually, all offices will have this ring. In an ESS 101 Centrix, the first ring is longer than all the others. <laughs> Yeah, see, what, what, a, what a fucking nerd this Evan Doorbell guy is. So now we know why the rings are so long sometimes. Apparently a city ring machine who's mild. So yeah, he, he just, he's obsessed with telephones and loves to talk about telephones. I recommend everyone going over to YouTube and listening to that guy. Hey, Brad, it's uh, Pussy Slap here. Hey, I was digging through some old files and I heard the Big Beast Bueno show. Man, I like it. Bring it back. It's just stuff. All right, man. Well, I'll holler at you later. Hey, if you see a dick, suck it. Bye. <laughs> like always. Yeah, I could end up bringing back the Big Beef Bueno show someday. The last thing I did on that was interview Rappy McRapperson. So basically, we could just say that Rappy killed it. Killed my old show. But it's okay, because now you guys have Brad's Cactus Shack. Same thing, basically, right? Hey, Roy. How's it going? This is 80 Mile Kyle. You can probably change my name to that if you want. I had a quick suggestion. I'm going to call you boring, Bob. For you. Sure, many, many people have thought of this, but you should open up a P.O. box so we could send you fan mail. I definitely no, have that's crazy. I kind of keep my P.O. box a secret these days for the most part, because it seems like whenever I give it out, it causes problems for me. Yeah. Some yeah, people know where to find it. Then you can inbox them in your laboratory, your attic, I think, whatever it is. No way, it's a basement. Yeah, it's my mom's basement attic that's crazy um brad gloria obviously you know one and only um can yep. you call up walgreens yep. totally obvious like, hey can i get some ass medication <laughs> and just go into like vivid detail on like the chronic diarrhea you're having just totally fuck with the lady it'll be, it'll be like totally serious like put some of those sound effects in the background I'll be like listen lady I can't even reach the toilet paper. I can just make those sounds for real. Nonstop. Like I, I'll just call while I'm on the toilet. Bad turkey for Thanksgiving. Amazing. I don't know if the turkey had AIDS or something, but dude was like leaking out my ass. Like just, just totally fucking with people at Walgreens. Oh, Gloria. Um, I'm really sorry to hear. Always you with the ideas. And um, you know, I've always had your back. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe I'll switch in prank calls again. No, I'm kidding, because I don't want to be arrested. And I don't want the FBI to knock on my door and take all my equipment, so... Yeah, yeah. I'm it's not always a... Okay. I love you. It's Bye. always a possibility when you're making prank calls. Oh my god, how do you hang up the phone? Hey, Brad, it's Crazy Calvin. Hey. I'm contacting you on one of those red courtesy phones inside of a Target store. How? how do they don't have any keypads on them, but I was able to get in by using a tone dialer app on my phone and holding the speaker up to the microphone. Nuh-uh. I don't so, believe you. Uh, hopefully this works and you can hear me. Cactus, cactus. How'd you dial out? Like, what What do you press before you dial a long distance number? Because I've tried before. I never had any luck. How'd you do it, Crazy Calvin? I want to know. Okay, I'm done with the voicemails and I'm done with the show. Thank you, everybody, for listening. And thank you, David J, for sponsoring the show today. Thanks, Arbybot, for filling in for me on the beginning of today's show. You know, I had to run to the grocery store and stuff. Can't be here all the time. Be sure to get the latest PLA Media Pack Torrent thingy at phonelosers.org slash torrent. And support the show by going to patreon.com slash phonelosers. That's also where you can listen to the latest show called Brad's Cactus Shack. It's going to be a show trilogy. There's just going to be three of them and then it's over forever, probably. I'm ending today's show with a song by BD Beats. And this is a uh, cover of Tommy Two Tones' 8675309 song. He actually made this song for the Dick Show, and it's a reference to something that Maddox is suing Dick over. You know, the guy that runs the Dick Show. Like, I don't even know how to explain it all. It's a long story, but this is like a uh, a thing to uh, help 
with the Dick Show's legal funds because Maddox, do you guys know who Maddox is? Like, remember him from the early 2000s? He had a website called The Best Website in the Universe. And I know a lot of my listeners are Dick Show listeners and even more used to be listeners of The Biggest Problem in the Universe podcast. I know Lux mentioned that on his show. But Maddox, I mean, I, I used to think he was funny back in the early 2000s. I listened to that podcast with him and Dick for a while. But mostly I just like the stuff he posted on his website. But he's actually suing Dick. For, I don't know, like nothing. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. But if you want to try to make sense of it, I'll put links in the show notes to thedickshow.com and giveasteriosaids.com. That's what this benefit album concert thing is for that I'm playing the song from. Don't worry, you guys. I'm not even making sense to myself. Here's a song by BD Beats, though. Thanks, BD Beats, for making this song. <laughs>
What is your definition of a desperate hobo? 